Welcome to Go Edmonton. I'm your host, Bianca Jade, and today we're at the Canadian Job Fair. Coming up in the show, we're going to be showing how 2015 is quite a unique year, especially in oil and gas. But up first, Tim Dancy went to Nate to speak to some oil and gas students to learn about their prospects as they graduate. Well, don't go anywhere because we have more from the career job fair coming up in the show. We even have some opportunities for new immigrants. They'll learn about a local fund which is supporting them. More after the break. We're here at the Canadian Job Fair and we're learning all about different options for people in 2015 with quite a unique organization. What does your organization do here? Uh, I'm with the Immigrant Access Fund and what we do is uh, we provide microloans to help immigrants to pay for their Canadian licensing or training that they may need so that they can practice their profession or trade here in Canada. It's pretty incredible. What kind of um, loans have you been able to provide thus far? Um, we've been providing about up to 1,500 loans we've provided up to now uh, to Albertans. We're also in Saskatchewan and we're also in an Ontario. What kind of careers have you been able to really help people with thus far? Yeah, quite a, a number of our loan applicants are health related. We also have natural resources, engineering, um, we also have finance, accountants, um, so various professions coming to us. Thank you so much. Up next, we head off with Jen McDonald who introduces us to a local couple that's going the holistic route. A vector Marketing, they're showing you that they actually are looking for specific positions, anywhere from receptionist to customer sales and service reps. There's lots of options for people in 2015. We're going to be learning more about that coming up in the show, but up next, we head off to the Edmonton Public Library with Brianne McLaughlin. Teaching your baby how to read might not be the first thing you think of. We're now joined by Peter Anthony. Now we're at Career Fair Canada. This place is packed. Yeah. Now how many years have you guys been doing this here in Edmonton? Uh, it's been a couple of years now. This is our third event in Edmonton. Uh, everyone has been extremely well attended. Probably 5,000 plus attendees. Uh, there's close to 40 exhibitors here today. Everyone's hiring, and those that aren't hiring are schools that are helping you retrain for a job. So some great opportunities down here. That's one of the things I want to talk to you about is that, that retraining possibility. There's not too many oil and gas companies here, mm -hmm. but if you're someone out there who's maybe been laid off from oil and gas, there's a retraining component out there. Uh, absolutely. Um, there's all kinds of different opportunities. Some of the, the training institutes we have here are the finest in the province, and if you were in the oil and gas industry, maybe it's time to look at something different until that market picks back up. But definitely there's opportunity. You have to remain positive and you have to just uh, think positively about getting a job. Now maybe you haven't been laid off and maybe you're a new grad and you're looking for your first opportunity. What are some of the vendors here that are giving that opportunity? Well, there's uh, Canadian Property Stars. is a great opportunity. It's a seasonal type opportunity. Uh, you get to work outdoors. It's great for students that have just graduated. Uh, just Energy is a, a company where you can make thousands of dollars a week. Uh, it's hard work. It's door to door. But, you know, if you're willing to do the work, you can make a lot of money. They actually bring... Uh, cancel paychecks from people like two thousand three thousand four thousand dollars a week so there are opportunities out there now we want to make people realize that this thing is just huge how many people are going to be coming through your doors do you think today uh, probably in the range of about five thousand each of our shows that we've done in Edmonton have attracted about five thousand and one we did in Calgary was about five thousand too so it's amazing and people can also follow them online they can go to the career job fair they can check up job classified and learn more information out that way, right? That's correct. CareerFairCanada.ca, JobClassified.ca. Uh, we're also affiliated with EmploymentNews.com, which has been around for close to 30 years. So you just got to source your opportunities and make sure that you capitalize on the ones that are available. I loved how you said it before. Keep positive. More yes. from Career Fair coming up in the show. Welcome back to Go Edmonton. I'm your host, Bianca Jade, and we're here at the Canadian Job Fair. Coming up in the show, we're going to be talking about how maybe going back to school is the best option for you in 2015. So we have more from the Job Fair coming up in the show, but first, Dave Dawson introduces us to an Edmonton Eskimo that's making his impressions on and off the field. So we're here at the Canadian Job Fair and we're looking at some different options for people that are at home. Maybe an option for you would be ADLC. So what exactly is ADLC? ADLC is the provincial provider for distance education courses. So we offer over 200 courses all the way from grade one all uh, to the courses that you need to graduate for your diploma. On the upgrading side, we have two options for us. We might have someone that was looking for a career change and the career, uh, the company 
says that you need to have a high school diploma, we can offer those courses to get that diploma. Or if you want to go into a new career field, perhaps a healthcare aide, you might be missing a biology 20 component and we can offer those components. It seems like this will be the year for you guys with 2015 with some people maybe looking, maybe they're laid off, maybe they're looking for another option. Absolutely. This is something that they could choose to do. Absolutely. Um, the government pays for our students all the way till they're 19 and then on September 20th, or September 1st, if they turn 20, then you have to either pay it yourself or get some funding. So it's important to try and get it as soon as you can, but we can help you out if you need some upgrading funding as well. Now they have a booth here and you've got pamphlets galore, but one of the things out there, maybe people are watching this at home, they can go to your website and today's, what's the first step to trying to go back to school? On our website, there's a section for upgrading, and it tells you all about the financial components if you're upgrading, and we've got some counselor links and a registration guide that tells you all of the courses that you need. So there's lots of options out there. Keep the hope alive. Yeah. And what's your website? Our website is www.adlc.ca. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Well, if you're looking for your, maybe not your personal adventure from Career Adventures, we head off with Yeg Ventures in downtown Edmonton. Thanks, Lincoln, for that Yeg adventure. Coming up next, we have our community calendar, which shows you some Yeg adventures you might want to take in. Thanks so much for joining us for this episode of Go Edmonton. We're talking all about jobs, and one thing I've learned is keep the hope alive. Whether you're handing out your resume or heading back to school, there's a lot of options out there. Thanks for watching.